Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to build an automatic potion brewer. Alright, so there are two versions. One version is, is one I got off the internet and one version is my own version. So this version here, um, this is the original version. So I'm not going to actually uh, build it, but I will let you just pause the video at any point you need to see and I'll just explain it along the way. So what you have in the middle here is a clock and this clock can be um, set up by how many blocks you have in here so the default number that you could put in there is two stacks of blocks and that'll be enough to make this whole thing work very nicely but the if you decrease the amount of blocks the faster this clock goes around and the, and the more potions you can produce in the given time but some servers have they have this thing where they can make redstone have a like delays which can reduce server lag so you'll have to play with your servers um, redstone. You can play with how many blocks you, you put in here. On a server I went on, um, I used 20 blocks, or sorry, 24 blocks, and that was the optimal speed to increase the efficiency of the circuit. But if you don't care about efficiency too much, just use two stacks, and you'll be yeah, that should work because um, two stacks is um, is enough so that each system, you know, I should say each unit here of the four units, it has about like a 20 second downtime so that'll give enough time to um to like to process all the stuff which I'll show you soon what it does so each of these um it can produce four stations at once um these two oops <laughs> just broke that um these two are the same exact thing these are the same as one another I just built two to make sure that um that they can fit and they do so the difference between this one and this one is essentially nothing other than that this one saves one block of space if you need the space if you need to like get this thing inside one chunk or something like that you can do so 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 how to build it is you this um hopper system under here is um it, it leads to your collection point you can build a collection point however you like to build it so for the rest of the part um i'll show you how to build this clock right now actually so the clock is you want to make it go counterclockwise. Well, you, you don't have to, but based on how my redstone set up, you'll have to make it counterclockwise. So you start with a block to face in this direction, and then you just start placing it like, like so, until it makes a clock in a counterclockwise d direction. And you put these blocks on top so that nothing falls in there so it doesn't break the circuit. So you'll need four redstone comparators, and you just place them all on the sides like, like this on the left side, facing outwards. And then with the repeaters, you face them inwards on the right side right side if you're standing here looking down and then you put a block facing out of the comparators and you take four reds four redstone dust and you put it right there and this will give you your clock and if you want you can put um, a lever and then if you flick on the lever any any blocks that you put in here will not move so your um, so, so you can pretty much turn off your machine anytime you want but if you just don't have a, a lever blocks will start to move into a circuit. Um, I'm not going to go into into depth of how the circuit works and how all the stuff works, but just know, know that it does. So so what you do is, so as you can see, these are the four blocks of the main circuit you need, and then you pick, take two red, redstone dust, feed it into here. Um, the items that you put into this hopper are your water bottles. Um, if you if a hopper is facing into the side of a brewing stand, that feeds in water bottles. If you have a hopper facing from the top, um, that'll put in ingredients. So you fill your ingredients up in these three hoppers, oh, I'm sorry, uh, droppers, and the order you put your ingredients in is the first ingredient. So if you're making strength of this this dropper <clears throat> on the bottom would be uh, nether warts, and then the middle one is the second ingredient, uh, blaze powder, and the top one is the third ingredient, which is glowstone. So that's the order you put it in. And then obviously these are your water bottles, So and that's all you need to fill up for each station. So for this one, which is more compact, which this this is this more compact one is my design. Um, it's essentially the same thing, except this whole thing is it shifted one in and then just fit all this redstone in. I just have to kind of like wrap some stuff around. So you you build it like this. It's pretty much the same thing. It's just one length instead of two lengths. And then um, you go here. When this dust is activated, this will um, turn this torch off. And then you invert the circuit this way. So by default, it's off, and then w when this is activated, um, this will um, 
activate all three droppers and the order you put ingredients is, is um, the first, second, and then your third ingredient is the one that's off to the side. And water bottles go in the same way. This is the same thing. I, I just built two of them to make sure that um, they would fit side by side like this. So you could, so this um, circuit, you can make a fourth one right here. So you can have four different potions being brewed at the same time. And then to fill in, um, to fill up water bottles, this is a method I do. So let me get some. Um, all right, slash game mode, um, sort of survival. Okay. So this is your circuit here. I mean, not your circuit. This is your <coughs> um, hopper area that you fill in water. So, so, so let me just show you. So you fill up all the water bottles, and then you you open the chest. You hold one in your hand. You hold the shift key, and you double click an another, and it'll actually um, shift click all the ones, like all the same item into the chest. So you, you, just, you just go through, fill up all four of your stations with water bottles, and then you you, you just um, can take about. Um, you, you just make this um, thing of chest go really far down to fill up with water bottles, and then you take um, hoppers, and then you feed them each, each of these four hoppers along the side into a separate unit here. Each of these four units, so you'd feed that hopper right there, and it would end up like say right here. So then this fills up with uh, water bottles, and that pretty much is all you have to do. This will definitely fit in one claim. So yeah, if you want to build this, I, I recommend it because um, on a server I put on, I actually had two of these stacked on top of each other, and so that was eight units, and um, I went AFK for 10 hours, and it filled up 77 uh, double chests of loot. So yeah, thanks for watching.